Hi, my name is Emily Mortimer and I currently work at the Tulsa Regional STEM Alliance. My background is actually in biology. I spent 12 years working at the Tulsa Zoo in various educational capacities, but my true passion is biology and working with the community. So as a STEM professional in biology, I actually started out really young. I grew up in the country where we didn't have zoos, aquariums, we didn't even have any museums. All I had was a big field and the woods back behind my house and that's really what inspired me of just going out and exploring. My mom and my dad were really interested in getting me outside a lot so we would go hiking a lot together and that just started that natural curiosity. So when I got into school I took as many science classes as I possibly could by the time I was about a sophomore, well the end of my sophomore year, I'd pretty much taken every single science class my school had to offer, which is kind of the downside of going to a rural school. So I did have a wonderful teacher who saw that I was still really interested, but there really weren't any more classes to take, so he set up some internship possibilities for me with the Missouri Conservation Department and the Soil and Water Conservation Department. So the first semester I got to go out and actually clean paddlefish jaw bones for an aging study, which was really exciting for me as a little bit of a biology nerd, but the reality of it was that I sat out into this little shack separated from the whole building, and there's a really good reason why I was about 100 yards away from the building, because it was full of dead fish that stunk. And I was out there from the start of school year, so in August, and this is Missouri, so it's a lot like Tulsa weather, so it was pretty hot in August, and did it all the way up through December where it's really, really cold. There was no AC and there was no heat in that little shack, and I literally sat there and cleaned paddlefish jawbones. But I did understand it was for a really cool population study, an aging study on paddlefish, which is a really unique fish in Missouri and also through Oklahoma. So it was really neat to be a part of that study. But then I didn't kind of get tired of cleaning paddlefish jawbones. So my instructor let me go to the Soil and Water Conservation Department where I was given the keys to an F-150 sent out on county roads all across good old Sedalia countryside and I did stream studies. And the really interesting thing is I did not know why I was doing the stream studies. Come to find out that next summer they were actually using it to file a lawsuit against a poultry farmer who was polluting the stream system. So a lot of my data was used for that lawsuit, so I got to see a real direct application of, of the science I was doing, which really spearheaded me into really liking research. So as an undergrad, I did some research with predator species and behaviors and um, feeding responses of, of domestic chickens when they are exposed to different types of avian predators, like hawks, owls, and falcons, and vultures. So it was really interesting. Uh, but then once I came to Tulsa, I started at the Tulsa Zoo, still really interested in research, working with infrasonic communication elephants, but really fell in love with the education side of it, and that's how I ended up at the Tulsa Regional STEM Alliance. But the passion for biology, the passion for science, and thinking of my childhood and being able to go back to those days of just running through the woods, making things out of sticks and cotton um, and um, corn stalks that I would find was really an exciting time in my life and spearheaded me to to want to do and promote STEM as much as I possibly can. Um, not to say there weren't barriers, because obviously the biggest barrier was being from a very small school, just not having classes available. So even if you are in that situation, you know, look outside. There's always different opportunities. Have a conversation with a teacher to say, I still really want to do, do something in STEM, but there's no classes available to me. What are my options? And right now with so much digital learning going on that I feel really confident saying the possibilities are endless. So no matter where you are, STEM is always a possible field for you. Mm -hmm.